You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here. I have a really good show today about love. And please remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. Friends, fear grows out of the things we think. It lives in our minds. Love comes from what we are, and it lives in our hearts. In giving love purely, for no reason and every reason, not because you must, but because you have no choice? No. It's because it's in your heart. That magically superhuman organ. The castle of your love. You transform not only the world, but yourself. The world, embattled, divided, discouraged, bone-weary with its dog-eat-dog -dog mentality, becomes newly laced with the sweetness of unpremeditated love. Its atmosphere alters, and you too are changed. In choosing to love not only those whom you have committed yourself, but also others. You understand that loving and being loved is the one true human vocation. In giving love, you share yourself with understanding that we are held in the web of life. By the acts of kindness, the love that we give and receive. Love is the best thing in the world and the thing that lasts the longest. Love can last forever if you want. Love is more like a flower than a tree. The wrong things can hurt it so easily but the right things can make it more beautiful than anything else that your life has ever known. Love is something to be treated as the best of all blessings and as your own little miracle that will keep coming true as long as you want it to. Of all the wonders this life on earth has to offer, none is greater to me than love. Love infuses life with meaning. It brings light where there was darkness and hope where there was despair. Love's greatest gift is its ability to make everything it touches sacred. You rise above your humanness and see the world. Your child, your beloved, your dog or cat, your garden, whatever it is that you love appears adorable, precious, supremely beautiful, mm -mm, and somehow perfect in spite of imperfections. And love also consecrates time and place and possession bestowing special stature upon them. The anniversary of your wedding? 
that special bench in the park, the quilt that your grandmother made you, your child's first note that said, I love you. Mm. These became sacred. They're artifacts. They're commemorating the presence of love in your life. It's late at night and you're sitting outside on your back porch, listening to the crickets, watching the stars. Hmm. Your faithful dog, who's been your best friend for years, snuggles up alongside you and nuzzles his head under your arm. As you hold his warm body close to yours, you certainly feel the surge of love for him and the unconditional devotion he has always shown you. He raises his head and for a long moment, he looks at you as if to say, yes, I feel it too. The night swallows both of you up into an eternal peace. Hmm. And it seems that you are the only two beings on earth. Hmm. This moment is all yours. This is the power of love. It takes you on a journey from separation to oneness. It penetrates the normal boundaries in which you live. In those very real moments of love, you turns into us. Something infinitely more fulfilling than you alone. In this way, love creates an unlimited experience with no boundaries, no edges. It allows you to travel out of yourself. Don't wait until it's too late. If there are people in your life who you love, tell them, show them, do it today because you don't know if they will still be here tomorrow. Why do we wait until the people we love die to celebrate them? I ask myself, why is a day on which we love and honor a person the most, a day when he or she can no longer hear our words? Why don't we share those stories and memories with the same depth of passion while that person is living? Don't wait to celebrate them until they pass from the earth. We need to start memorializing life instead of death and create real moments today rather than real memories tomorrow. Today, see if you can stretch your heart to expand your love so that it touches not only those close, but also to those who need it so much. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. My final thought for today it's always a good idea, as we say on the farm, 
to use some good old-fashioned horse sense in our daily lives. For you folks not familiar with the term, it means to use good judgment and common sense and doing things consistently will always reap rewards. You can catch me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.